In this video we will learn how to add login with Google in your app. Here I have opened the next off documentations. Then I'll open providers from sidebar. You can see next off provides many different providers. I'll select Google. In order to use it we need to create an app on Google Developers Console. Under the configuration there is a link. I'll also add these links in the description below. If we open this link it will take you to a page similar to this. I have already logged into my Google account. At the top you can see a drop down. Here you can select the project in which you want to create a new app. If you don't already have a project create one. Enter the project name and organization and click create. I already have a project I'll use that. Now open this OAuth consent screen. Here you need to create a new app. I have already created one. This is the name of the app. Its status is testing and user type is external. If I click edit app you can see we have to provide name of our app. And support email and also developer's email. You can fill other fields as well but they are optional. Click save and continue, leave these to default and click save and continue. Again leave the default options and click save and continue. Now we need to create a new credential. So open it from here. Click create new credentials. Select OAuth client ID. Select application type, web application. Enter the name. Add origin URI, it will be your web app URL. I'll add localhost URL here. Make sure that this URI doesn't end with slash. For redirect URI, we'll see the documentations. And copy the one for development. Then click create. Copy this client ID and client secret and paste them in your .env file. If you don't already have an env file, create one at the root of the project and add these there. Paste the client ID. Then the client secret. For this video we'll need two npm packages. So we'll do npm i next off. And styled components. After that install types for styled components in the dev dependencies. After the types are installed open the project in text editor. Inside pages, API create a folder off. Inside which create a file and name it exactly like this. Within square brackets, add three dots then right next off and ts extension after the square bracket. First import next off. Then import Google provider from next off slash providers slash Google. Now I'll destruct the client ID and client secret from process.env. Then add a check, if client ID is empty then throw an error. Now add a check for client secret, if it is empty then also throw an error. Now
Now export default next off, which we have imported above. In it we need to pass some options. Const options of type next auth options, make sure to import the type from next auth. Then pass the options object here. In the options we give the providers array. Here add Google provider, to which pass client ID and client secret. Now open app.tsx from pages folder. Here import session provider from next auth slash react. Wrap the entire app with it. In the props pass session, which we'll get from page props. Now need to add a button for Google login here. I'll create a new component for that. I have a components folder in my root of the project, where I'll create a new folder. Name it social button, inside which I'll create index.tsx. Using the ES7 extension I'll do tsrafce and create a new component. Here change index to social button. In the folder also create a file to write styled components, name it social button elements. Here import styled. To write the styled component, we do export const then name of the component here I'm naming it container. Then equals to style dot the HTML element we wish to use, in this case button. After that add back ticks in which we'll write the CSS. Border, none. Give background color and text color. Give font size, 0.9 rem. Width, 100%. Padding, 0.8 rem. Cursor, pointer. Transition, all 0.5 seconds. Border radius, 5px. Outline color, transparent. Box shadow, 0. 2 pixels, 5 pixels. And a color of black with alpha 0.25. Display, flex. Align items, center. Justify content, center. For some hover effect, give a different background color. Then create a component for button text. 
Name it title. And it will be a span element. Give some margin left. Display of flex. Justify content, flex start. And flex, too. This is because I want title of button to take more space than the image. Now let's create a container div for our social icon. Here give display of flex. Flex, 0 0.75. And justify content, flex end. Now open the index file. Remove this type because I have separate file for interfaces and types. In the root I have a types folder which has prop types file. Here I'll create a new interface. The button will have a title of type string. On click of type react.mouse event handler HTML button element. And an icon which will be an image that we'll place in our public folder. For this we have to create a new interface, name it static image data. It will have a source of type string and height of type number, then width which is also a number, and finally blur data URL which is optional and a string. Give icon a type of static image data. Now open the index file for our social button. Here remove this and destruct title, on click and icon. And give type of social button props. Remove this div and use container we just created. Make sure to import it. Pass on click to it. Inside the container use social image container. Also make sure to import it. Inside the image container we add an image, import it from next slash image. In the source we pass the icon. And give an alt. Also give a height of 20. And width of 20. Below the image container add the title component. And here add the title we get from props. Open the login form and add social button below regular login button.
make sure to import it. Now we'll pass the props, first is the title, login with Google. For the icon let's import the image from public folder, I have already placed the SVG there. Pass this Google image to icon. And to on click we pass a function handle Google sign in. Let's declare the function. Get the event and parameters of type react.form event. Prevent the default behavior by event.prevent default. Here we'll call the sign in method, import it from next auth slash react. Here we pass the provider ID, in this case it is Google. And then call back URL that is the page we wish to redirect after logging in. You can see the Google login button is added successfully. If we click on this button it will take us to the Google sign in page. This is the name of our app we added in Google console. Now I'll sign in, enter your username. Then click next. Then enter the password and click next again. It will redirect us to the URL we have given in sign in method, that is home page. Here we have the profile icon after logging in. Now I'll show you the navbar component. I have access data as session from use session, import it from next auth slash react. And here add a condition, if session is not empty, that means user is logged in. In that case show the profile icon else show login link. Now if we click on the profile icon, you can see some information, which I have already added. In pages folder I have created a file and named it profile.tsx, and in it used a component user profile. In user profile I'm accessing data as session from use session. Then check that if session is not empty then show name from session.user.name. and display the email from session.user.email. And I have then added a button. On click of the button I have called a function handle sign out, which calls sign out method that is imported from next auth slash react. On our profile page this is the name. And below it is the email. And if I press the logout button, user will log out. And in the nav bar we'll see the login link instead of profile icon. If you have liked my video smash the like button, consider subscribing my channel, and leave a comment. If you want to see more details of the nav and profile component you can check my code. Or you can watch my previous videos where I have showed how to make them in detail. Thanks for watching.